is National Eye Exam Month, and today we're reminding you that getting your eyes checked regularly is an important part of your annual health care routine. And joining us now is Dr. Alozi. Hello. Let's talk about, you know, eye health and... Put on my glasses <laughs> so I can see. Why we should get checked Absolutely. up annually. So I think the biggest thing, right, is I'm wearing glasses, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like to wear glasses. I don't wear them all the time. But I think eye health is really important. And as you get older, it becomes more important. So we'll talk about that a little bit, too. No, I totally agree. you got to get those exams. So when you think eye exams, um, when do you think we should start getting them? Well, I think early in life. So mm -hmm. you break it down to the first year of life, right? So kids somewhere between the ages of 6 and 12. And then once again, at the age of between three and five, really before they go off to school. You want to make sure that they can see properly before they go off to school so that they can engage in care and they can engage in learning. So I'd say from birth to five years old, six to 18. I remember when I first got my, my eye exam, mm -hmm. I was probably in about the, well, no, I probably got my glasses when I was in the third grade. <laughs> my it. mom took me to the eye doctor. You probably couldn't see the And board. the second I put those glasses on, pop. I was like, oh, wow. You got smarter. Everything's so <laughs> Everything's so clear, yeah. So and again, towards the end of, as you get older and older, you want to try to get it at least once or twice a year. Once you get above 65, you should get it really every year. And we'll, there's a couple of reasons for that. Okay, so when we talk eye exams, of course, they're important. Explain mm -hmm. the difference between the vision exam and the comprehensive exam. Yeah, so the vision exam is the one that you sort of say at lens crafters, they do in schools sometimes. Mm -hmm. You go and they really want to check, can you see? Are you short-sighted or you're nearsighted or far-sighted, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the keys. But that's just one piece of that puzzle, right? The real question is, do you have more complex eye diseases like cataracts, right? Do okay. you have what's called glaucoma, which is an but increase in pressure? But that happens a little later, cataracts. It can, right? but it can also happen in younger kids. Okay. Diabetes can cause it, right? There's some autoimmune conditions that can make your eyes stiffer and form film earlier on in life. So that's why it's important to keep up with those exams. And yes, you want to see the board if you're a kid. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that your kids are engaging in school and able to see. But as you get older, you can have problems because of hypertension and diabetes and just age that makes your lens stiff, it makes it pressure, and that can be really disastrous and lead to blindness. Okay, so as as we get older, explain the different ways we can protect our vision. I mean, again, a bunch of them are just sort of things that we sort of reiterate over and over. Be healthy, don't smoke, try to live a healthy lifestyle. But again, I really want to remind people that are listening, get your eye exams, right? Get an eye history, because family history can be a part of that. I know a lot of friends that I have, and if they're listening, they're laughing. I'm always telling them, why are you always <laughs> squinting? You always have headaches because you can't see. Go get an eye exam. Go right. get checked. Go get checked. And, and you're right. Your family <laughs> has a lot to do with that, too. If Absolutely. You know, no, nobody in your family can My see. My mom wore glasses. <laughs> I wore glasses. My right, kids, same unfortunately, here. listening, hey, you'll wear glasses one day, too. And I like the, the list that you have up there. Wear some glasses because I'm very bad you about You want to that. protect your eyes from sun. We have a lot of sun in our community. Yeah, I, the, the sun city. All right, so do you have any recommendations on where we should get an eye exam? I try not to make recommendations, but okay. there are a lot of options, oh, right? These better. are just some of the ones that are out there. They're not the only ones in the community, whether it's Southwest Eye Institute, the El uh, Paso Optical Center, Buena Vista, you can see the rest. Again, an eye check to see if you're nearsighted or farsighted is just one step of that mm -hmm. equation. You also want to make sure that you don't have cataracts, they don't have glaucoma, get it checked, get it managed early, it can prevent you from having loss of vision later on in life. That way, if you if you know get checked earlier, you, you catch it ahead of time before, before it gets yeah. worse. Well, if you have a question for Dr. Alozi, just shoot us an email at news at kvia.com, and he might just answer your question live on ABC 7 at 4. Dr. Alozi, thank you as always. Thank you. <laughs> Are they dirty? Kind of. <laughs> this is Storm Shock Weather now. Jalen, we're under that first alert. We